Greetings folks, Tango Joe here. Welcome to the show. Today, we have a new word for you. It's grilled cheese, please. Check it out. We'll be right back. So a little while ago, I saw CJ at Cooking with CJ put out a grilled cheese challenge. And I'm like, I gotta get on this. I love grilled cheese. But I think first, CJ always wears these cool hats. So put on your CJ hat, let's make some grilled cheese. I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. I like a very simple yet tasty grilled cheese sandwich. We're gonna use just a couple of ingredients. Watch. I'm gonna use some cinnamon swirl bread. So it's almost like a breakfast grilled cheese sandwich. Oh. I'm gonna use three different kinds of cheeses. I have some machengo cheese some Gruyere, Gruyere cheese, and some horseradish cheddar. Yum. I am gonna throw a couple of thin slices of tomato on there, because I'm not making tomato soup. I'm gonna stretch that line between grilled cheese sandwich and a melt. I think two thin slices of tomato will still make it a grilled cheese while turning it into a patty melt. And we're gonna cook it with some Kerrygold butter for the first round, and then some Long Island duck fat. Yeah, man, Long Island duck fat. We're gonna make a very simple grilled cheese sandwich. For the grilled cheese sandwich challenge, which is grilled cheese, please. Let me show you how we put this together. Oh, and we're gonna be using our indoor little stove with our cool little Wagner bacon press cast iron. Because it's raining and cold outside. I ain't going out there. Let's make some grilled cheese, shall we? All right, so we got our little cast iron pan heating up. I'm gonna put butter down first. I don't butter the bread. I just put some butter in the pan and start it to sizzle. Look at that. My countertop's not a guy level, so all the butter's gonna run over here, and that is actually the southeast way. Anyway. And just take your two pieces of cinnamon swirl bread. And this bread is nice and thin. The heat's gonna transfer it through it real easy to melt that cheese. So we'll keep an eye on it. We don't want it to burn. Okay, so these are getting a little bit brown on the bottom, which is actually gonna end up being the inside. So let's take these off. We'll show you the next step. Here, watch, let's move the camera. Look, there's our plate. See? Got a little bit of crispness right on there. So first thing, take a piece of Gruyere cheese, lay it down on that. Take a piece of Machango, try to make it fit and then if you have a little bit left over, you can eat this part here. Yeah. The horseradish cheddar is long. Take one piece. And a little bit of tomato. This is where you run into trouble. This could be considered a melt, but I don't think so. And then reverse the process. Cheddar. Machango, Gruyere, and crispy side in. Okay, there's your half done grilled cheese sandwich. Now, let's bring on the duck fat and fry it some more. So, let's add some actual duck fat. We're not using spray duck fat, real rendered duck fat. Look at that. And then, lay the sandwich on there. Now you want to press it. Let that just hold the sandwich in place. Now here comes with the timing. You don't want to go too long and burn it. Don't want to go too soon and not have it nice and crispy. So count backwards from a thousand, skipping every 17 numbers and you should be okay. Now 
hold it for a second. Bring some of that duck fat back up into the center. And then flip. Oh yeah. That's how we're making one of the simplest grilled cheese sandwiches you're going to see. Remember, it's hashtag grilled cheese, please. Yeah, look at that right there. Done. We're just going to turn this little stove off. And we get ready to cut this and see if we have any cheese pull. That's the key. You want cheese pull in your grilled cheese. We'll be right back. That's looking pretty gosh darn good. Now we're going to let it sit for a second before we cut it. Let the cheese start to come back together. Don't want it to mush out the sides. Get our handy dandy knife out here. I'll give you another 10 seconds. I almost can't wait. All right, that's it. Got to cut into it. Got to cut into it. Okay, there you go. Almost time for the big reveal. Once again, we'll be right back. Remember, hashtag grilled cheese, please. Okay, that's it. Our very simple grilled cheese for the grilled cheese, please. Watch some of these videos today. Oh, wait. Forgot the CJ hat. Here's the key. The key is you want cheese pull. It's like a good slice of pizza, man. If this works, excellent. If it doesn't work, it's still going to taste great. That's looking pretty good to me. Check that out. So... Another thing I like about grilled cheese is being able to hold it with one hand. It's not stacked, just... <laughs> there you go, man. So that's it. Simple greens, simple sandwich. The cinnamon toast, cinnamon swirl, that stuff is awesome. So this is like breakfast. Three different kinds of cheeses, a little bit of tomato inside. So that's it, that's our quick video for the grilled cheese challenge by cooking with CJ. Leave a link to his channel below. And uh, remember, grilled cheese, please. Thank you for joining us. Oh. We'll see you again next time. Please hang up and try again.